Welcome back. So in this lesson, we're going to start by making a new file, actually filling it with HTML and opening it in the browser. And we're also going to learn about the underlying structure of every HTML document. So there's a few things uh, that every document always has, kind of boilerplate, that we're going to learn about. So to start, I'm going to go to Sublime, and I'm going to make a new file. So file, new file, or command N. And then I'm going to save the file and give it a name. So file, save, or command S. So once I do that, we're going to give it a name. Um, let's call it firstpage.html. And this part is very important, .html. So I'll hit save. And that .html tells Sublime, and when I open it in Chrome, it tells Chrome this is an HTML file treated as such. So we can write some HTML in here. So we'll start with just the one tag we've seen so far, or one of the tags, which is an H1. And you'll notice that it's highlighted for me. So let's fill this in. This is my first tag and save this file. And you'll see Sublime knows it's HTML, so it highlights it, and makes corresponding tags uh, red in my case. Now what we want to do is actually open this file and view it. Because remember, HTML is just text, but our browser interprets it and turns it into something like this or this. So to actually get Chrome to open it, there's a few solutions. The first one is just double click on it, and it will open it in your default browser. If that is not Chrome, it will still work, but it will open it in Safari or Firefox or Internet Explorer. And you can see, though, as it opens it, it's not showing me the actual HTML. It is taking the HTML underlying it and turning it into this nice visual representation. As always, I can view my page source, and you'll see it's just one tag. So definitely simpler than something like this. But underlying, they're exactly the same. And there's probably an H1 on this page as well. So one other way of doing this, you can take the file, right click and click on Open with Google Chrome, or you can click on it and drag it to Chrome and that will open it as well. Same thing goes for Sublime as well. So if you accidentally close the file, you can drag it here and it will reopen it. So just to show you that, click and I can open it. So unfortunately, I have to break the news that our simple HTML that we've written so far is actually slightly wrong. The HTML tag itself is fine, but this isn't a valid document. And that's because we're missing the underlying structure that every page needs to have. So it looks like this. It is a lot compared to what we've done so far, but the good news is uh, there's two pieces of good news. One, it's always the same. And two, Sublime has a nice shortcut that gives this structure to us very, very quickly with just four letters that we have to type. So we're going to go over these pieces individually in just a little bit, but I'm going to start by just showing you how to get it in Sublime. So in Sublime, inside an HTML file, we can type the word HTML and then hit tab, and we automatically get this structure. So let's go over what this does. First, I'm going to save. So there's this doc type HTML up top. And it's kind of weird because there isn't a corresponding closing doc type. Like there is HTML and head and title and body. Doc type is on its own. So let's go to MDN. Just showing you how you would get there. I would type MDN and then doc type. And it might seem silly to really talk about that, but this is important because finding this information out is really what being a developer is. Googling something, how do you find the right answer? I'm going to be a complete broken record on that. My students laugh every time I talk about the art of Googling, but it really is important. So on here, let's take a look. It says the doc type for HTML5 is simple. To indicate that your HTML content uses HTML5, simply use doc type HTML with an exclamation point in front of it. And we do want to use HTML5. We'll talk exactly about what HTML5 is and what it isn't uh, in a future video, but we do want to use it. It's basically just the newest version of HTML, so we put this up top. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the HTML element. So this one is a little harder to find by searching. We would do MDN, HTML, maybe just element. There we go. Always look for this MDN in the name. And this tells us the HTML root element 
represents the root of an HTML document. All other elements must be descendants of this element. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, everything that we write needs to go inside of HTML element. And more importantly, under permitted content, it tells us one head element followed by one body, which is what we have, one head and one body. So let's take a look at what head is. The head element provides general information metadata about the document, including its title and links to or definitions of scripts and style sheets. So what that means is basically everything that we don't see on the page as a user, so things like font files in our style sheet files, our JavaScript files, all of those go in the head. And then the body is where we put all of our content. It represents the content of an HTML document. So if we go back here, I'm going to show you one more thing, which is how to write comments in HTML. If I wanted to write a note to myself, if I just wrote this, content goes in the body. And then up here I wrote metadata goes in head. Unfortunately, that won't work because this will actually show up on the page. HTML will treat this like text, and I want it just to be a note to myself. So this is something you can do in every programming language. You can turn this into a comment, and a comment looks just like this. Starts with a less than sign, exclamation point, two dashes, and then some content, and then on the other side, two dashes and a greater than sign. So you can type that here yourself, type it manually. And you can see it kind of goes gray in Sublime. But another really nifty shortcut is that you can select a line. You don't even have to select it. Just go to a line and hit Command Slash. And you can also see you can go up to Edit. And you can go to Comment Toggle Comment. So in case you forget this and you don't want to write it out, um, another nice thing, let's say I had a bunch of notes to myself, I can select all of them and do the same thing, command slash. Great. So I'm going to keep these comments here that are just notes to myself. My content goes in the body, metadata goes in the head. So that means that if we're following our own notes, our content here needs to go inside of our body. So we should have nothing floating around outside the HTML element except for doc type. Everything else goes in head or in body. So let's go ahead and open this up. Make sure it looks the same as it did before. Double click. You can see it looks identical. Let's view the page source. It looks the same. Notice that our comments are not showing up, of course. Only our H1 shows up. One thing that we're missing while we're here is a title. A title is important not because it shows up on the page. It will not show up in our actual page here. Remember, it's in the head, so it's just metadata. What it does do uh, is two things. One, it's going to determine the name or the text that goes in our tab up here. And it's also important for search engines and for other pages. When other pages link to your site or when you go to Google and you search for MDN, these names here, these come from the title elements. So for instance, MDN celebrates 10 years of documenting your web. You click on that. You can see up here, it says MDN celebrates. It gets cut off. We can inspect the page, look for a title element. So a lot of stuff. Here we go. Title, MDN celebrates 10 years of documenting your web, the Mozilla blog. So title is important. So let's give our site a title. Let's just call it my first page. Refresh, watch right here, and it updates. So that's it for now. Remember two things, this boilerplate, you can just type HTML tab. You would never have more than one in a document, but just so you remember HTML tab and comments, you can do with command slash. You can toggle them on and off. All right.